I'm Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence Baser from Task Force Yankee here at Camp Phoenix, part of the 26th uh, Maneuver Enhancement Brigade out of Massachusetts. Uh, Ten years ago on 9-11, I was uh, getting ready to write a sermon for my congregation when on TV I learned of the uh, first plane and then the second plane going into the Twin Towers. And as both a guardsman with, at that time with the New York Army National Guard and a chaplain with the New York office of the FBI, I sort of immediately sort of was called up and remember driving down the LIE toward New York City from Long Island, which was my home. And once I finally made my way through all the traffic and everything was all tied up, I parked on the east side of Manhattan and started walking towards the area of the World Trade Center. And one of the things when I was about in Wall Street, everything was covered with ash. And the first vision I had was the scenes of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, just that image. And in a sense, I would see a coffee shop that had half-drunk cups of coffee or newspapers on their Wall Street journals. It was a really shocking image to start seeing that. But as I was walking through the, the uh, Wall Street area, I would usually get lost. And so to get myself where I'm going, I would look up and use the towers as my reference. And I instinctively just looked up to say, okay, where am I going? And that's when it really hit me. They were gone. As I made my way into the chaos that was about a block away, I was right about the end of the street, which was Trinity Street. There's a church, a very famous church on the corner that remained undamaged. And I looked down that, I first looked south and the billowing smokes that were coming from the World Trade Center area. And then I looked north for some reason, and it was beautiful, clear skies. And then I looked straight down the street, and there, in an absolute wall of blackness and smoke, was a ring of fire, which was later the, the World Trade Center 4. Both towers were already had fallen, and it was a chaos. From there, I made my way to first do some work with the FBI and then checked into my unit, which then was the uh, a unit in Brooklyn. And for the next number of weeks, I was then taking care of our soldiers that were on patrol through and keeping uh, sort of uh, security around the World Trade Center site, comforting our own soldiers, uh, but also law enforcement officers, uh, police officers, firefighters. One image that I have to say really struck, struck me afterwards. It was now the Saturday night, about two in the morning, and I was right at the edge of where the towers were, and it was just one big hole, um, and still smoke was billowing, and, but it was all lit up because of the, then it started becoming a recovery effort. And one of the things, as I was looking in and seeing various markings, uh, a firefighter came over to me. I was in my uh, battle dress uniform at the time, and uh, he said, hey, chaplain, would you say a prayer for me? Would you say a prayer? And I turned to him and I said, did you lose many, any colleagues in there? He said, none from my unit, thank God, from my firehouse. But then he pointed and said, I have 10 friends out there. We took a moment and we talked and we ended in prayer, uh, praying for the souls that were lost, praying for the people uh, that, were hit, that were attempting for rescue. And I have to say, in that moment of looking into darkness before looking into hell, the prayer and becoming together was a way for me as a chaplain that God's presence was there, even in the darkness. It's now 10 years since that day that I have been honored to serve our nation, our citizens, and especially our service members, our soldiers, as a chaplain, helping them through difficult times either hearing the stories of hardships from family issues to what they're facing if they're going on on a mission. It's uh, something I'm proud of to be part of our chaplain corps that throughout the years has really made a difference in serving and uh, bringing a sense of hope and life and peace to all our people. And I pray that on this 9-11, as we look forward with the strength that we've been able to do, uh, as the United States and as our military to make a difference, especially here in Afghanistan. I'm seeing it 
with my own eyes. Um, we're bringing peace and hope to a future generation that, please God, nothing like this will ever happen again.